Another useful list type, oh no, three, two, one. another of the real useful operators in SQL is between. So let's take a look at using between. We're going to use some of the same types of examples we used in the previous video. Um, between allows you to test for ranges. Uh, for example, find all customers all customer IDs, uh, all customers with an ID in the 10 to 20 range. Sorry. All right, so again, you know, select all from where customer ID greater than or equal 10. Now, here's a tricky one here. And Customer ID less than equal 20. Okay, we haven't talked about using and, but just kind of absorb it for now. We'll have a formal video that talks about using multiple predicates here in just a little bit. But I think you can get this, okay, to just kind of internalize this. So greater than or equal to 10. This is what we would call an inclusive test. If we have a customer with an ID of 10, they will be included in the result set. It didn't say greater than 10, right? It said greater than or equal to, so they are included. It's an inclusive test. And the same down here. If someone has a customer ID 20, they would be included because of the less than or equal. And let's go ahead and run this. And we see Kathleen all the way down to Jean. I actually have a friend of mine. Uh, he, it's a man. He spells his name J-E-A-N, but he goes by Sean. I don't know. It's just what his parent called him. <laughs> I don't know what prompted me to say that story either. Uh, anyway, so this range can be collapsed. So come up here, comment it out, with the between, where customer ID between 10 and 20. And these are the same. Between is inclusive. So I will come up here. Between is inclusive. So that customers with 10 or 20 will be included in the result set between 10 and 20. And it's the exact same query. In fact, it just simply gets transposed by the SQL Server when it gets executed to using the standard relational conditional operators. Okay, so between, very simple. Nothing to fret about, right? Um, between is usually used, I'll go ahead and put this up there, typically used for num numerics and dates. Those are your usual suspects. Now between also has the not, just like in does, that absolutely flips it. So we could say uh, find all customers whose ID is not in the 10 to 20 range, right? And then it would just simply be a matter of flipping it by saying where customer ID not between 10 and 20. But you see, if you found those customers that were that did have an ID between 10 and 20, real easy to just put the word not in front of it, isn't it? I mean, this is just, just common sense to me. All right, tell you what, we're going to stop here. Let's go ahead and continue on, and we're going to talk about using like in the next video.